the point of like Smash where we get to call Zomba Big Dog. True. Just, <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, he number one won Genesis this year in one seed. Uh, mm -hmm. Been number one in New York for arguably a while. I guess it depends where you see the buzz in that conversation. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, Jack, I mentioned it before, but there. There's a comp Jackal, Hayes, and Jen. Only one of those three is making top eight, which is yeah. for one thing. A fusion is insane to say. Yeah, and what a fusion this is. I mean, obviously, uh, over 70 entrants, which is, I mean, the numbers don't seem like this is as stacked as it is, but you see, like, the top eight seeds, you see the top 16 seeds, and you realize just how many people came out for this Monday local. Uh, and so we're going to get right into it. First set of top eight here is going to be Phantom versus Leon. We got Steve versus Bowser. We don't need to talk about how this matchup is going to go. It's up to Leon to try to find something in the middle. And uh, the TNT already set. We've got some uh, some fire to try to blow it up. But then, obviously, Phantom's already setting up with a lot of good... Okay. A lot of good resource gathering. And now where do we go? To, to the other side of the stage, we can get the jab trains across now. Bowser is, like, an unfortunate amount of just, like fall speed mm -hmm. and having uh that huge weight means that you're just gonna take that lot longer you probably should who messing up the last nil though mm -hmm. yeah it is kind of crazy you know bowser we always talk about him being combo food but i um, mean steve i think is one of the characters that does benefit a lot because that low knockback that he takes when he's uh these raising percents is uh, just enough to get him to just enough kill power for a, a heavy like this we're getting already trains up to getting 70 percent how quickly uh phantom can rack up this percent on leon right now and that backer is actually gonna be unsafe on the shield trying to chase his Okay, kind of insane. This uh, I feel like the Steve's main benefit in this matchup, due to the size of Bowser, is the lead trapping. And we've, oh, in MDV, we've seen how easy Bowser gets lead trapped. But, okay. Ooh. Okay. Well, I mean, we've got a shield break, and we're gonna start up with the uh, the up smash perfectly, uh, uh, just enough. And the the DI was uh, not gonna save you there, no matter what. So now Leon's just gonna do what he can to try to survive here. Taking a lot of shield damage as well. Like, we know that he wants to hold shield here. He did take a break already and is already risking his second shield on last stock. So, gotta be careful here. Yeah. And I will say, he's also... Phantom, yeah, Phantom's been playing this without, like, any diamond. We saw some iron in the first stock, but it's supposed to be stone on this one. Which works out for uh, your... Because you talked about how it's... Oh, my Whoa! God! Oh, my how? I mean, of course, you you reach a little bit over, but that's crazy to uh, to catch the jump off the minecart with the forward smash of all things and just staying on the platform. The simplest option is uh, surprisingly enough what works. Yeah, and adding on to it, since you got that kill rather early, no diamond on the board, and mm -hmm. that can actually add up a lot if you're able to take this. Uh, if you're able to survive a bit, you're not going to be able to survive that sweet spot back here. But if you're able to build up that rage in the late in the next game, that can have some uh, major implications for like the later how the you know the later half of the stock is gonna go. Yeah, that is true. I'm already starting to worry a little bit about like what Leon's game plan here is when he's getting out of disadvantage. I mean, just looking at that last hit. I mean, uh, we did have him. I think going for like some flame breath um, and then getting caught. Um, despite the forward smash, like I think this ended up being like uh, an overcommitment. I think when you jump. Uh, or try to get up off ledge, and then, of course, you commit to the grab. There's so much you gotta do here. But we're going to small battlefield, going to game two. This is uh, definitely gonna be a better stage for Bowser for a lot of reasons, uh, but Steve can still do a lot of stuff here, and we're already seeing it. Yeah, and forcing, forcing the tech roll in there is really unlucky, because that just means there's an up tilt waiting for it to cover you, and you took 88 off that pretty much. And I like the small battlefield pick from Leon. I think that it has a similar layout that PS2 does have, but there's no, uh, it's not stone o only, like we've seen. Great right. recovery. But the yeah. stone only benefits uh, Phantom quite a bit because it makes it fire, like fire breath hard to, uh, like makes it really hard for it to break blocks. Mm -hmm. So having opportunities to give wood and uh, dirt is gonna help Leon out a lot. But Leon also kind of tunnel visioning here on the forward till three attempts. One did not two frame. The other ones are not going to be able to catch ledge, uh, ledge hang and also to get up option as well. So Leon's still fishing for something here, trying to break down the walls as best as he can. But the uh, the mine cart kind of 50-50s are starting to set up for Phantom. He's starting to build that condition and being like, okay, 
but just sent right over the wall and uh, not built high enough to get a tech. So Leon manages to steal the first stock here. And with the rage on Bowser, I definitely think that this could make uh, something better uh, of game two so far, as long as he stays alive. Yeah, and trying to get an early up out there to avoid a ledge trap situation, unfortunately, Phantom just didn't do anything, and so he was able to uh, react to that. But hang sense to the outside of the stage. Once again, no, uh, no diamond uh, on the board. But you do have gold to so that shit up a little bit because it is still a weaker knockback tool. So you shouldn't be able to get these combos despite Bowser being at a heavier, uh, being at a higher percent. That is true. And uh, definitely going to have to just accept the higher percent whether you like it or not. But uh, so far, Phantom doing the right things, just kind of uh, doing some farming and then running back in with a uh, with a pickaxe option that uh, does beat back Leon well enough, keeps him off stage, keeps him in disadvantage, and allows for more of that resources. But great parry here on the anvil. Uh, still Leon on the receiving end of the down smash and stuck on that block as well. Wasn't able to actually grab the ledge, so that's really unfortunate for him. Especially that gold backer runs it faster than that, all the other tools. Great catch. The upbeat, but all the diamond is on board now. So at least previously with uh, Leon, you've been able to get the kills. Even if you're taking these kind of damage, there still wasn't any diamond on board. That's not the case right now. He held out, so he didn't get hit by the spike down and manages to take the stock right afterwards. Leon only taking 40% off that interaction. Now we've got diamond tools. So this is where things get dicey uh, because Leon will be taking a lot more damage. We'll be having to deal with stuff like that. The tech not coming out for him and he does kind of ricochet off for a little bit. Might have helped him out a little bit because there might've been a follow-up from that tech from Phant uh, if Phantom had expected it, but who knows. Right now we just got to see the uh, resources are starting to wane a little bit, but it doesn't matter because uh, it looked like Leon just kind of like fell right into the trap and phantom to be able to take that yeah that we were just seeing the weaknesses of bowser and uh i feel like most when the diamond came out we were seeing it because of how safe everything is uh what options do you have you what you up you out of shield cool if you're able to call it out you, you get charged diamond f smash um if you have what jump side b cool if you miss it you're stuck in command grab a lag so there uh steve's main benefit of having really really fast uh in safe moves on the shield yep. plus bowser's weaknesses is yeah yeah i mean even the shield breaking in game one like it was pretty crazy like we definitely prefaced this uh this matchup being uh not great but steve and of course in the hands of phantom making it look uh more effortless than anything else leon a great seasoned player in his own right uh still laid low by the steve has got to find his way back through losers, and uh, we already talked about how dangerous it is down there. So, uh, good stuff to Phantom making his way to winners' finals as a result of that 2-0. Uh, we do want to look to the other side to see who's going to face off against them. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be getting uh, Bugs versus Zomba next. So that's going to be Duck Hunt versus Rob. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, uh, we've been seeing a lot more from uh, Bugs recently. Just coming back out there. They took like a little bit of a break. Of course, TOing a few of the New York locals is a lot of effort. Yeah. Um. So, but they've also been talking about how much they they they've become one of the tri-state needers, right? <laughs> so, like, yeah. Uh, and they were they were previously, but you know, it feels it feels like there's like a new era in tri-state right now. Just with everyone keeps talking about how ultimate is kind of dying off. You can say what you will about it, but try if you're in like Jersey and you know, that tri-state area, it doesn't feel like it. Like if it, they just have an energy about the game that isn't seen like in other parts of the uh sure. country the world except japan maybe mm. yeah that makes sense i mean it definitely is a vibrant scene uh and it really kind of is one of the bright spots of uh, where a lot of scenes have kind of taken a lot of big hits 